relationships. Don't go back to that old filthy language. Don't go back to it. Stay out of the woods. Don't get comfortable in the woods. Even your armor can't help you there. You see, a blind man can beat you up anytime he wants to. All he's got to do is turn out the lights. Because then you're on his turn. Then you're in his world. And when you're looking at filth, listening to filth, hanging out with filth, people that F this and F that and blankety blank, and you're listening to it constantly, you're going into the woods, and the woods will do to you what Satan couldn't touch you with because you're in his world. So it doesn't do any good to come to forward and shout, 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 and then go right back into the woods. Some of you are laughing at him. That's right, in case you don't watch the news, a congressman named Wiener <laughs> got on the social network and began to text filthy pictures and images and messages. A married man with a beautiful wife. What was happening? It doesn't make any sense. He's highly intelligent. He's a senator from New York City. He's brilliant. He's the up and coming kid. But he starts getting in the woods. And what all of his enemies couldn't do to him, the woods did. Humiliated, hurt, broken. I feel for him. I'm not kicking the down man. I'm trying to get you to understand. There's pain in the woods. I've watched people just say, I'm just going to dig just this one time. I'm just going to just start drinking a little, smoking a little dough, partying a little. And before you know it, they're in the woods. I want to say this big and bold right now, and I want you to hear it. If Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior, there are some places you do not belong. I want you to hear the heart of the pastor tonight and a father. If Jesus Christ is your Savior, there are some places that the Holy Spirit who lives inside of you is totally uncomfortable. Every once in a while, you ought to get in conversations that the Holy Spirit basically grabs you by the seat of your pants and kicks you in your butt and says, get out of here. This ain't right. This is filthy. This feels like trash. This is contaminating your spirit. Every once in a while, there ought to be something that says, turn that music off, that F this, F that, blink. I'm not talking just any music. I'm talking about filthy music has no place in your life. Stay out of the woods. Stay out of the woods. Stay out of the woods. When I'm just going to go to that party, you know, I won't do anything. Okay? Well, go and say hey and get out. But that's not how it goes, is it? You gotta stay out of the woods. Why is it people are attracted to the woods? Because the woods are beautiful. The national forest that millions of people go to, they're beautiful. And there's something about the woods that are gorgeous and beautiful, but there's danger in those woods. And sin is beautiful. Sin is attractive. Sin is... Sin is... You know, it's not an ugly thing at first. Satan... Satan will show you his penthouse. He'll never show you his pig pen. He'll show you... He'll show you his rookies. Fresh new meat. He'll never show you his veterans. 
been sinning for a long time because they got wrinkles, they're used up, they're like an old dish rag. He'll be glad to show you a new somebody that's hot and fresh. Sin is beautiful. When Eskimos in Alaska want to capture wolves, they have an interesting way of doing it. They'll take a sharp knife and they will dip it in seal's blood, which is one of the favorite meals of the wolves. And they will let it dry in the frigid air, and then they'll dip it again, let it dry again, dip it again, until the blood begins to get thicker and thicker and thicker, until they make a seal's blood popsicle that is so thick with ice, icy blood, that it hides the sharp blade on the inside. Then they will take that knife and stick it down in the snow and they know that the wolf will come running. And the wolf will begin to lick that blade and oh, he loves what he's tasting. It's his favorite meal. But what is amazing is there comes a point where he cannot discern that there's no difference between the taste of seal's blood and wolf's blood. And he's shredding his tongue to pieces. And after a while, his strength begins to drain. And after a while, suddenly, that which was beautiful begins to kill him. And that is exactly what sin does. Nobody gets to play with sin and get tired with it. It hurts every time. It destroys every time. It brings tears and heartbreak every time. More died in the woods. And I've watched them disappear into the woods. Young church-raised kids begin 